Welcome to my channel where we live, love, learn, and laugh. Literally. <laughs> Karibuni sana. Oh my God, guys. As you can see, oh wait, today is such a, it's such a nice day because it's, it's warm outside. Like the weather is nice. Like this past weekend whew, was just something else. <laughs> it was raining. It was cloudy as in, especially like, yesterday the whole day on sunday because today hold on when is today oh today is monday may 1st 2023 and it's currently 4 or 9 p.m and um i am currently in the state of new hampshire <laughs> i have traveled out of state to msinitafute or to massachusetts anyways um the reason of i'm in new hampshire actually is because i've i'm in school um I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit and um yeah i decided i was like you know what since i have this week off from school um why not come here and at least get to see where exactly i go to school you know i mean i i, I see the school like on online and on tv like the rest of <laughs> of the people do but i i've never really come to this campus but do you know i've realized that um I have been here before, you know, many, many, many years ago. Uh, well, not that many. <laughs> I'm acting like as if, you know, <laughs> we are still in the 19th, 18th century. Just so. <laughs> no, I mean, um, about, about um, maybe 15 years ago or so. 10, no, yeah, about 15 years ago or so. Um, there was another chick who used to be our roommate. A long time, um, okay, me and this a long time, ago of mine. Um... We used, she used to be our roommate when we first came to this country. Like our, when we moved into our first apartment, she moved in with us. Um, her name was Mary and she used to come to this school, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if it was Southern New Hampshire or it was New, um, University of New Hampshire because there's also a University of New Hampshire. But um, yeah, I believe, I, I don't know if it was here or it was University of New Hampshire, but I remember for her graduation, we drove for like an hour, <laughs> you know, from our house to the graduation of which um, even the drive here, it was, well, it wasn't actually even that long because I was already in New Hampshire. As you can see, I have come from the gym, um, my whatever, I put my, the, my gym towel to, to hang over there so it can dry. <laughs> <laughs> I know and make a headband too. So anyways, um I from the gym I decided instead of um going back home because I have some work that I'm working on. So I figured instead of you know, since I didn't even carry my laptop anyways, so if I have to go back home, I'll have to go home, get the laptop, then go, you know, go to the library and you know finish working on on my stuff. So I figured, you know what, since I'm in New Hampshire, I might as well just come to school and uh finish what i'm doing from here because i mean I'm, I'm i'm a student so i can be able to access the the computers so um yeah guys <laughs> i decided why not share this moment with you you know um and wow this i'm i'm impressed by the way this school is so clean <laughs> this campus is beautiful and it's big and then it's so clean. Oh my goodness. I'll show you guys around the outside. And then, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if they allow cameras inside, but, um, I don't think that should be a problem. But, um, anyways, I, I'll take, a uh, videos, you know, I'll take snippets here and there, and then I'll, I'll be able to show you how the place looks like. So yeah, guys, <laughs> come with me. I am feeling I don't know. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling zen, you know. Um, I know the other video that I did the last time was, um, you know, the video that I was talking about, um, the grace, the grace of the Lord and how it has been sufficient for me. Do you know that in the past couple of days, I've, I've been reviewing um, my life pretty much, <laughs> you know. Um, and I've realized that the Lord has been faithful, you know, um, in the beginning, you know, before I gave my life to Christ or rather when I gave my life to Christ, I made a covenant with him and I told him, you know, this is what I, 
I want, you know, this is what I am looking forward to in life. And um, to be honest, in the, in, the, in the last couple of days, um, now that I've, I've looked back, the Lord is a, is a promise keeper. He's a covenant keeper, you know, and I've come to realize that it's so sad because as Christians, or rather a lot of Christians have been compromising with God through the years. Because yes, people get saved, they give their lives to Christ and they make covenants with Christ. But do you keep your end of your covenant? You know, because, you know, a covenant is like a deal, <laughs> pretty much if you if you've ever signed a business deal you know you guys have to sit down negotiate you know um what are, you know what are you bringing to the table and what are you expecting out of the deal and then once you come to an agreement with the other party then you know you seal the deal and that is the same thing with um with salvation in terms of making covenants with god um what are you looking to get from god that is the first step. You know, why are you getting saved? You know, what are you looking to get out of salvation? And then, of course, you know, once you figure out exactly why you're getting saved or what it is that you're pursuing in salvation, you know, are you keeping your end of it? Because salvation is not an easy journey. You know, yes, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. And if there's something I've come to realize is the Lord allows us to go through certain situations or he allows certain storms to come into our life not because he doesn't have the power to stop them and not because he doesn't care about you know about us but because there's something he wants us to learn out of that situation and gain strength from it you know so that we can be able to achieve that which we you know we requested from him because, you know, in Christianity for years, we've been taught in the church, go, you know, anything you need from your father, go to him and ask for it in prayer. And so once you do that, the Lord doesn't operate like a magician. You know, he just doesn't add a cadabra and give you what you want. There is a process. There is a process you have to go through in order for you to, to get that which you're seeking, you know, and Sometimes the process can be tough and it can be long and it can be hard. But I guarantee you the end of it is worth it. Because whatever it is that you prayed to God for, trust you me. God answers prayers. But you just you have to keep your end of it too. You have to believe in the Lord. You know, it's not that when times get hard and you know situations get thick and you cannot explain what is happening even to you all, all around you you know i've come to realize that a lot of christians in the church for for years now they have been running to other altars you know it's like you celebrate god when god is making things work for you the way you want but the minute he you know he he takes you through that process so that you can also be able to build the strength for that, for that which you're looking for. So you can be able to build your, you know, to build the muscles to hold that, you know, that position or that next level that you're looking for, you know. People tend to run away and they go seeking help from other altars. And it's very unfortunate because now, out of that, the world is now being controlled by a lot of altars, you know. And these altars are also in the church, you know. In fact, in today's society, there is, I, as in, I, okay, I don't want to say there's no church, but I've come to realize that a lot of churches have their own God, you know. Like, before you could go to church and you could feel the presence of God. But nowadays you go to church and it's like the presence of the Almighty God is no longer there, you know. And then now churches also, you know, different churches have different gods who provide different things, you know. And out of it all, I have come to, I have actually come to love my Lord even more. And I have come to celebrate my salvation even more. As in, for me, I cannot say the Lord has not blessed me. I cannot say I've not seen the hand of the Lord. I cannot say he has not walked with me. God has blessed me. 
And if there's something I've come to appreciate about the Almighty God, is God does not force you to do what you do not want to do. You can imagine, he's the Almighty God. He created you. He created all those desires that you have, that you're wishing to, you know, to, to, to attain and, <clears throat> or, <clears throat> excuse me, or even keep. He created all of it, but he gave you, he gave us, he gave me and you autonomy, the freedom of choice. As in, we can wake up and decide whether we want to worship him or not, you know? And in other altars, it's not like that. Demonic altars, they don't operate like that. You bow down to them. Their word is final. You cannot tell a demonic um, principality, no. They don't understand, no. What do you mean, no? <laughs> you are in their altar. You took yourself to their altar. And you're saying, no? I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. And out of that, you know, a lot of people are dying nowadays. Some very interesting, you know, some very crazy, crazy kind of deaths, you know? And it, it, it saddens me, by the way. That's the reason why, in fact, I'm just saying all this right now. This is very random because this video, <laughs> I intended to show you my school, <laughs> you know? In fact, the entire video was not even supposed to be more than 10 minutes. <laughs> and I've already talked for 11 and a half. Yes. So. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, you know, if there's something I've come to appreciate as I've been looking back, in the last couple of days and um that is why i've decided i am going to start season four <laughs> i was not ready yet to start season four um a couple like you know last week when i when i did the last video at that point i wasn't really ready to start season four because honestly i was going through a mental challenge and um not a mental challenge as in losing my marbles <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I had become very forgetful and there was just this storm that had come over my life. And for a minute, it seemed as though, you know, I was beginning to lose, to lose sight of, um, of my vision. But that's why, again, I thank God because he's a covenant keeper and he's a, also a promise keeper. Because as I began looking back at my life, from the time I gave my life to Christ, I gave my life to Christ with a purpose. And I gave my life to Christ purposefully, seeking to know what salvation is and also seeking to know God and having a personal relationship with him where I can honestly go before God and tell God, this is what I want in life and I need you to help me get it. You know, show me how I can get it because it is only through God that whatever you get in this life, whatever you acquire, you, you will keep it. And even if you lose it, somehow, it will not, okay, not somehow, but it will find its way back to you. Ten times fold, you know. That's what his word says. And yes, indeed, he is a promise keeper. He sticks to his word. And I'm telling you, I swear, everything that I went before God and I asked of him from, you know, fr that day, from that moment, actually, when I went before him in my house and I gave my life to him, he has Ametimiza. <laughs> he gave me everything I asked for. And yes, the journey was not easy. But now that I am looking back, it was worth it. Because today, everything I desired to be is exactly what I have become today. The me that I am today is the me that I prayed to God to help me become and he has done exactly that so for me <laughs> which means I cannot say that my Lord has not blessed me because he has and that is why again I, I say I have come to appreciate the almighty God a hundred times more because the Lord does not force us to conform to his ways. He gives us the freedom. If you feel you don't want to worship him, fine. Because if there's something I have come to learn about God, is once we go before God and we request for him to guide us, he does exactly that. But we have to follow him. We have to stick to the, to the, um, to the, to the plan or we have to stick to his way. 
of doing things. Yes, sometimes it does not make sense, you know, but I'm, te I'm telling you, trust me, in the end, it is worth it. It is very, very worth it, you know, because he gives us the freedom to decide, you know. Are you going to stick? Are you going to keep your end of the covenant in order for this thing to, to work? Or are you going to walk away from the covenant? And God is a very patient God. Because even when we do turn our heads or turn our backs from him and just walk away, either and go looking for, you know, for help elsewhere or just give up in general, God does not give up on us. We are the ones who give up on him. Because even when we come back, it doesn't matter how far you go and how long it takes. When you come back to Christ, he's always willing and ready to take you back. But you also have to be ready and willing to keep your end of the covenant. You know, it's not just that when things are not working for you, you turn away, you go and look for help elsewhere. And then when things don't work out for you there, you come back to him. And you come back to him with the same demands expecting him to continue you know to to provide you know to con to just add a cadabra and of course when he does not do that because god does not work like that people turn away from god and go back there and that's why today the world is being controlled by altars of necromancy and libation people who go to seek for powers in places of darkness because they have lost faith in their lord when what you really need to do is be patient and build resilience, mental toughness. In fact, last night I was listening to, I felt so bad because I was listening to um, Joel Austin and um, he was talking about actually exactly what I'm talking about right now, mental toughness, building mental toughness such that, you know, he well, what he was saying was, God allows us to go through certain situations so that we can be able to learn from them and become, you know, and become more resilient as we progress. Because we are still progressing. We don't know what's, what's ahead. I mean, a hundred years ago, what we have today was nowhere in sight. But look at the world today. Look at where we are today. Just 10 years ago, technology was not what it is. And today... We basically depend on technology. If today Wi-Fi was to disappear from earth, there is no internet, nothing. Tell me how people are going to survive. Because now it has become our, our, our main form of communication. All these things were not there. But because there are people who kept pushing and they kept expanding their mind, they were able to build what we have today. You know, and so we need to come out of this mentality of, you know, having a fixed mindset where it's like, if God does not do this, then forget it. I am going to look for help elsewhere. You know, because you don't want to, to be patient with him and learn through the process. And so, man, that's why I was saying I was feeling bad because that is the only part I got to hear <laughs> out of the whole Joel Austin preaching because, man, I just fell asleep. <laughs> I got into bed that it to get comfortable. My goodness, I told you, me and my bed, I don't know. I don't know what kind of bond we have. <laughs> as soon as I lie on that bed, I'm out. But um, yeah, guys, so anyways, oh, <laughs> I had not planned on saying all that, or rather I said all that to say the Almighty God is a true God. And he's a God who will never fail you. As long as you don't fail yourself by walking away from him, by turning your back on him. Because it is only through him and it is only through his grace that you will get to achieve the desires of your heart. And so anyway, guys, oh my God, I hope it doesn't rain. Ah, you know, it was so sunny a few a few minutes ago but it seems like it's become cloudy i hope it doesn't rain today so um i'm just gonna you know end end this talk here and um i'll rush over there i'll rush to the library but um as i'm on my way there i'm going to show you 
um, the campus so you can get to see a little bit of it. I don't think I'll be able to cover much of it today because this place is huge. It's a huge campus and um, I think I will need to come here on a day where it's the weather is nice. There's no rain in, in sight because right now I can't be able to walk around that much when um it seems as though it's about to come down any minute so anyway guys i just wanted to let you know that i am back for season four and um this is the first video of um season four so um i hope you do enjoy and i hope you do like what you see and i also hope you have learned from from um, what i've shared with you and continue holding on to your faith and continue believing that god does not god will not let you go you know there's this um there's this famous kikuyu kikuyu preacher in kenya who is always saying oh god will never let kenya go for god will never let kenya go which is very true god no and not just kenya god will not let his people go but it is very unfortunate that it is his people who let him go it is his people who let him down hey thank you lord mwah, 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 for being that rock <laughs> <laughs> and to my feet anyway guys so welcome to season four and um i do hope that this will be a season of blessings i do hope that this will be a season where um the faithfulness the guy faithfulness <laughs> the faithfulness of god is going to manifest itself so anyway guys um without further ado Let's see what Southern New Hampshire has to offer or let's see how um the campus looks like a little bit. All right? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Come with me. <laughs> Thank you, Vanda. 
so guys as you can see i am in the library you have seen the campus for yourselves as in i just had to keep quiet and let you guys see what i was seeing of which i don't even feel like i'm doing this place justice like wow this is wow this school is very nice and it's very clean too it's very well kept very well maintained and wow so this is the Wallach um, Learning Center. That is where you come if you need help with your projects or your assignments. And here you can have some water and you can also refill. And then they just have seats around here. You can lounge there, use your computer or just chat with your friends and read some books. Or just sit alone like that guy over there and do your own business. <laughs> <laughs> then of course there's books on this side you can pick books on the left and then also you can sit on the right and um, read your books do your assignments and it has a very good view outside and they also have study rooms wow study abroad at snhu <laughs> oh yeah through their online program which is what i'm doing you can be able to um join the school from even outside america and uh still be able to get your degree so it's a pretty good um a pretty good school look at that view oh my god guys as in this view for me is just everything <laughs> especially the way i love nature i love being outside wow and um yeah so this is a study room that's the whiteboard over there they even have a trash can at the door and then there's a tv too and another desk so um if you happen to be a couple of students working on a project you can come and use the study rooms and um, here they have a directory so you can know your location in case of an emergency. You can find an exit and um, exit the building. And this is so beautiful. Wow. Wow, guys. As in, you can even see the mountain. Wait, I mean, that's a hill. Okay, that's <laughs> hey, They even have um, hand sanitizers like almost everywhere. So you have no reason not to sanitize your hands if you are not feeling well and you are coughing or sneezing. Please sanitize uh-huh and here is the learning center uh-huh but um they are closed right now because actually i've come here late it's currently 4 45 p.m and the library is closing at 5 p.m so i only have 15 minutes left to do this so um yeah excuse me if i rush kidogo and um here's another study room as you can see there's the board seats and the tv there if you guys have an assignment you're working on and um you need to use the tv maybe uh to you know to run your powerpoint slides that's what um the study rooms are meant for and this is the center for teaching and learning uh-huh they are also closed and um yeah here's another study room if you happen to be more like a big group of people and um also with the whiteboards the whiteboards are for writing your ideas your thoughts you know and this is something so interesting i found guys this is a restroom and it's it's for all genders you know <laughs> anybody can use this bathroom regardless whether you're male female you know lgbtq plus that's their bathroom because you know in america there's been that contention for a, a very long time or a few years rather like since the whole lgbtq thing started of um bathrooms like which bathroom should they use you know they should be a queer bathroom added and wow southern new hampshire you really are all welcome you have a place here and so, yeah so right now i'm in the women's bathroom and as you can see <laughs> the toilets are very clean oh wow but um they have three stalls um two regular toilets and then one handicapped one and wow is this a a, a diaper changing station hmm so if you have a baby i guess your baby has no reason um <laughs> not to have their diaper changed <laughs> okay and that's the bathroom uh, it's pretty clean and oh it also smells nice in here so um this is their the dispenser their paper towel or napkin dispenser after you wash your hands and wow it's caught <laughs> <laughs> nice so here are more computers and they even have double um double screens oh my god this has taken me back to my days at new pro home solutions that's how my desk used to look like i used to have two two screens <laughs> and then also of course now these are the single ones if you need to use the computer here they are they are available to you just no food and no drinks oh my god look at this take a brain break <laughs> <laughs> for real i need a door 
<laughs> okay, I don't know what all this art is about, but uh, definitely I needed a brain break <laughs> from all of that. But um, yeah, so let's go upstairs. Let's go to the third floor, which is where they keep all their books. So if you're looking to um, rent a book or take a book out so you can read, they are located in the third floor. And this is just another view of the campus. Wow. This place is very, very beautiful. Like, I didn't expect this place to be this nice, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you know sometimes what you see on tv what you see on pamphlets what you see on the on the newspaper is not always what you come across you know what you what you order versus what you get Aish. okay so anyway there's a balcony here and um it's closed for the season i guess it's usually opened um when it's warm and nice outside so that's another place you can go out there and just study and um enjoy some fresh air if you love nature like me that place is goals <laughs> and i'm um, here just more desks and then they have all these rows of books lined up um all the way they are just lined up um and of course they are they have tags so they can tell you um or let you know what section you're on so if you're looking for a particular book um you know where to find it if it's fiction drama yeah and this is a quiet reading room so this is actually the top floor and it's also the quiet floor. This is the place where if you come here, you come here to read and just do your work. You know, you don't bother talking on your phone, chit-chatting with your friends. It's all about having quiet time to um, work on whatever it is that you need to work on. So yeah, here are just the continuous endless rows of our books. And this is the archive center. Well, there's the elevator there and the TV and then this is the archives room. So I believe that's where they keep important um, historical artifacts. If you need to access it, I don't know who you need to talk to. I don't know if it's the, is this the director? Ellen Phillips. Um, yeah, if you need to access the archives, you can just talk to the librarian or either the director, I believe, and somebody will be able to help you how to go about that and um here are the these are just actually more extra seats so you can come and sit here if you have your own laptop and face outside and do your work enjoy the scenery or you can grab one of these desks and um do your work you know if you have your own laptop or you're reading that's what it's for so yeah guys uh, the tour is over now it's time to head on back to massachusetts <laughs> <laughs> at least now you've seen my school with me for the first time um the whole year and a half i've been here this is the first time i've made it here so i feel great <laughs> so i decided to stop by kfc and enjoy some dinner and as you can see i have a three piece with um coleslaw and mashed potatoes with gravy and my strawberry lemonade <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. and there goes the colonel mm? the chief is it is he the chief or no he's the original celebrity chef <laughs> this guy was fired and he came up with this chain imagine he was fired from his job and he started making chicken and up to this day he left a legacy <laughs> that's how you pay back your bosses <laughs>